We are in server 2012 and I'm going to show you how to set up a predefined class in DHCP. Now this will also work in Windows Server 2008 and in 2016 as well. So let's go ahead and start by going over to our DHCP scope and you can see that we've got an active pool here going on. Uh, so what we're going to do is if you click on the scope options, configure options, you can see all the different options and it ends at number 121. Well, a very popular type of option is going to be one that covers uh, 156 for VoIP phones, but you can also use it for other things as well. But let's go ahead and use that as an example in case you want your um, IP phones to be able to connect to your server. So what we do is we right click on the scope options, I'm sorry, at the um, IP4 level and we go ahead and choose set predefined options. So inside our predefined options, we're gonna go ahead and click add. Now you can call this whatever you want, but since it's for IP phones, we're just gonna call it IP phones. Easy enough. And we're gonna change the data type from byte to string. All right, now we're gonna put in our code 156. As, as you remember, the uh, number uh, ended at 121. So we're gonna change this so the very last one is now 156. Go ahead and click OK. You don't need to add a des uh, description. All right, now what we need to do is since we chose string as our value, we need to add in what that string is going to be. All right, now let's take a look at how we want to put that data into that string. So we know that our phone server is at 10.50.0.11. Obviously, your phone server is going to be at a different IP address. So uh, go ahead and type in whatever your IP is going to be. Now, on our switch, we know that our VLAN ID is going to be 50. Now, if you're using the same subnet for your VoIP phones as you are for your data, then it's just going to be VLAN ID of 1. So you don't have to worry about configuring all that. But in our case, we do have a different uh, VLAN using a different subnet. So in our case, it's going to be 50. That's just the one that we chose. And then the last thing is um, layer two tagging, and you want to have that on. So in order to turn that on for layer two tagging, which allows that uh, VLAN to work, you put this all in one big string. So here is our string. FTP servers, which is where the phones will get their configuration, is going to be the IP address of the phone switch. So it's the same IP. Second thing is layer two tagging equals one means that layer two tagging is going to be on. And the last thing is going to be VLAN ID. Again, yours could be a different number or it could be just one if you're using the same subnet as uh, your uh, data. And so now that we've got that all configured in one line, separated by commas with no spaces, we just go ahead and paste that in. Let's go ahead and click OK. So now that we've got that set up, we can go to our scope options and we can right click and we can choose configure options. Now, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we see IP phones. Check that box. We see our string values there. And we go ahead and click Apply. And then there is our option 156, which we can now use uh, for our phones when they boot up to automatically pick up that VLAN and all that information so they know how to go where they're going. Now, in some phones, you may also need to add in a time server. So uh, you want to check the box for time server and then put in the IP address of your domain controller or an external um, IP address of an external time server as well. But nothing you have to configure. Just uh, go ahead and add it. So that's how you add a uh, predefined selection in DHCP on server 2012, 2008, and then eventually 2016.